Hello everyone, I am your host Ayushi Kara Setia and welcome back to our channel Pavli. In this video we will be learning what is date and time formatter in Pavli Connect and how it is used. So date and time formatter is a feature of Pavli Connect which allows us to format the date as well as the time in various different formats. The date and time can be received in Pavli Connect from various applications and today we will be learning that how we can change the format of date and time as per our requirement and how we can use it. Okay, so these are the features provided by Pabli Connect. The first one is format date with time zone. So in this particular feature, the date will get formatted along with the time zone also. The second one is format date only. So in this particular feature, only the date will get changed. Format time zone only. So in this particular feature, only the time zone will get changed. Okay, now if you want to add or subtract the time, the feature that is add or subtract time can be used. Even we can uh, capture the current date, we can modify the current date and even we can calculate the duration between the dates using the date duration calculate. So how all these features works, we will be learning this particular video. So let's move to the dashboard of Pabli Connect and let us start learning all these features. So this is the dashboard of Pabli Connect. I am already logged into my account. So if you are a new user, you need to just sign up to Pabli Connect and you are going to get 100 tasks free every month. And if you are already an existing user, you just need to log into Public Connect and you need to reach the dashboard. Here I have already created a workflow that is what is date and time formatter in Public Connect and how it is used. So I'm just going to open my workflow. And here I have already taken the Google Sheet as my trigger application. So you can use any trigger application to capture the response over here. Okay, I'll just scroll down and here you can see that I have already captured the response over here. So I'll just show you my Google Sheet also. So my Google Sheet name is text formatter where I have taken three fields for the title, its description and the date. So I've given the title as email marketing. I have entered its description and I have given the date and time format over here. Okay. And I have captured all these details over here in Pabli Connect. You can see the same title as email marketing, its description and here we can find the date and time, spreadsheet name as text formatter and all other details related to the spreadsheet are captured over here. So if you want to learn that how you can integrate Google Sheets with Pabli Connect, we are having various videos on our channel. You can watch any of the video and you can just learn how to integrate Google Sheets with Pabli Connect. And if you want to use any other application in the trigger over here, you can use any application as per your requirement. Okay. So now we will be moving to the date and time formatter. Okay. So let's come to this action step and I'm going to choose the application name as date and time formatter over here. And here in the action event, the first feature we are going to use is format date with the time zone. Let's click on connect. And now we are connected. Here we need to map the date that needs to be formatted. So here we have already got the date in the response from the Google Sheet. So we will be mapping this date now. Let's scroll down here. Let us map the date from Google Sheets. And this was our date. Now it is asking from format. From which format you want to convert this date. So here I'm just selecting the format that is YY, MM and DD that is year, month and date and after that we can see the time also. So I'm just going to enter the same format over here. Okay. Now it is asking to format. In which format you want to convert the date. So I want the date to be in converted into DD, MM and YY format. Okay. And along with the time also. So I'm using this particular format. Now it is asking from time zone, from which time zone you want to convert. So I am converting it from the Asia Kolkata time zone. You can enter your time zone and now it is asking two time zone, in which time zone you want to convert it. So we want this date to be converted into UTC time zone. So I am entering the UTC time zone and let's click on save and send test request. Okay and here we can see the response is received and here in the result we have got the date in the DD, MM and YY format. And here we have got the response in the UTC time zone. Okay, so the time zone is also changed and even the date format is also changed. We can see the format over here that was YYMM and DD and here we have got 1250 and in the response we have got 720 AM and here we have got the date also in the DD, MM and YY format. Okay, now let's move to the second feature of date and time formatter. For that click on this plus sign add action step. Again choose the application name as date and time formatter and this time we are going to select the action event as format date only 
click on connect and now we are connected here yeah, again we need to map the date that needs to be formatted so let us map the date from google sheets this was the date now here it is asking from format so we have to enter yy mm and dd format along with the time zone so let us select yy mm and dd along with the time now it is asking to format in which format you want to convert this particular date so i want the date to be in uh, dd mm and yy format so we are choosing this particular format now with a dash sign in between and let's click on save and send test request and here we have got the response that is dd mm and yy along with the dash format okay and here we can see that only the date is formatted over here now let's move to the next feature click on this plus sign add actions step choose the application name as date and time formatter and this time in the action even we will be selecting format time zone only so we will be changing only the time zone let's click on connect here again we need to map the date let's map the date from google sheets okay and this time we have to select the from format also so the form format will be yy mm and dd so i have selected the from format now it is asking from which format you want to convert the time zone so i am selecting the time zone as kolkata asia time zone and here it is asking two time zone so let us convert it into utc time zone okay and let's click on save and send test request and here in the response we can see that the date is same that is 9th of may 2022 okay but only the time zone is changed from 1250 and here we can sign, uh, see the time zone as 720 so it is changed according to the utc time zone now let's scroll down click on this plus sign add action step and now we'll be learning another feature let's select the date and time format over here and in the action event we have to select add or subtract the time click on connect now it is connected now again we need to map the date that needs to be formatted so let's come to google sheet and let us map the date okay now it is asking for the expression provide the amount of time you would like to add or subtract to the date negative value subtract the time an example is also given plus 8 hours 1 minute or 1 month minus 2 days or minus 1 day plus 8 hours so you can give the expression as per your requirement over here okay so let's take an example that it is 9th of may i want to add 1 month so i'm just giving the value as plus 1 month okay and i want 5 uh, uh, hours to be deducted from the time so i'm just going to give the time as minus 5 hours okay so now let's scroll down now it is asking for the to format select a format in which you want to manipulate the data so i want the data to be in dd mm and yy format okay and along with the time also so i'm selecting this particular format and the from format will be the same format of the date that we have given over here that is yy mm and dd and along with the time okay and now let's click on save and send test request and here in the result we have got 9th of june 2022 so one month is added to this particular date that is 9th of may and here we can see that the time given was 1250 pm and here in the response we have got the time as 750 am that is minus 5 hours that we have given in the expression so in this feature we can see that we have added the date as well as the time over here okay and the response is uh, captured correctly over here now let's click on this plus sign add action step one more time here let us choose the application as date and time format of once again select the action event as current date so it is going to capture the current date only now let's click on connect now here we have to select the basic format so i want the date in dd mm and yy format with the slashes this time okay now if you want to include the time in response you can just specify it over here as true or false as per your requirement i'm just keeping it as false and here the output will be in the utc time format only if you mention the time over here you will get the output in utc format let's click on save and send test request okay and here we can see that in the result we have got 9th of may 2022 and we can find slashes in between the dates okay so in this way the feature is working correctly now let's click on this plus sign add action step again choose the application name as date and time formatter this time select the action event as modify current date 
So, we have already got the current date, we are going to modify the current date, we are going to change it. Let us click on connect and now we are connected. Here we need to give the date format. So, the date format will be DDMM and YY, ok. Now, it is asking for the time zone. So, I am just specifying it as Kolkata Asia time zone, ok. Now, it is asking operation, what do you want to do with this particular date, ok, with the current date. So, if you want to add, you want to subtract, you can just specify it over here. I want to add some dates, ok. Now, here we have to give the units. What do you want to add to this date? So, if you want to add hours, minutes or days, you can uh, just give the values over here. So, I want to add the days, ok. So, here we have got the current date, that is today's date, 9th of May 2022. Now, we want to add 5 days to this particular date, ok. So, I am just giving the value as 5. Let us click on save and send test request. So, adding 5 days to 9th of May gives 14th of May. So, in this way we can see that we have received a correct response over here that is 14th of May. Now, I want to subtract 3 days from the current date, ok. So, I am just giving the value as 3 over here and I have given the operation as subtract. Now, let us check the result by clicking on save and send test request. And this time we have got the result as 6th of May. So, deducting 3 days from the current date that is 9th of May gives 6th of May over here. So, in this way we can see that both the operations are working correctly that is add and subtract the time over here, ok. Now, let us move to the next feature by clicking on this plus sign add action step and choose the application name as date and time formatter once again. Now, select the action event as date duration calculator click on connect and now we are connected. Let us scroll down. Now, it is asking for the from format. So, I want the date into, let us give it as DDMM and YY format, ok, with the slashes in between. Now, here it is asking for the first date. So, we are going to calculate a duration between the dates. So, here I am just specifying the current date, ok, we have got the current date from the date and time formatter, that is 9th of May. Now, here we need to give date to so, let us come to the add and subtract time over here and let us give the date over here that is 9th of June 2022. Now, the duration between both these dates will get calculated. Let us click on save and send test request. Ok, and here in the response we have got the result years as 0, result as 1 month, days as 0 and here we have got even the time also that is 7 hours, 50 minutes and 23 seconds. So, this is the difference between both the dates that we have specified over here, ok. So, let us check it one more time. So, I am just going to remove this date from here, the second date and let us give it manually over here. So, I am just going to give the date as 15th of June 2022 and now let us check the result, ok. Let us click on save and send test request over here. So, we have got the duration between 9th of May and 15th of June that is 1 month and 6 days. So, in this way we can see that this response is also correct over here, ok. So, now I will just minimize all these windows and let us see in a nutshell whatever we have learnt till now, ok. I am just going to minimize all my action steps. So, let us uh, minimize the format time zone only and even the format date, format date with time zone. And here we have got the Google Sheets, ok. So, first I have taken the response from my Google Sheet over here. You can use any application to get the response in Public Connect, ok. Then we have learnt how we can format the date with the time zone, ok. So, oh, the date as well as the time zone was formatted over here. Then we have learnt format date only. So, only the date was formatted. Here we have changed the format time zone only. Only the time zone was changed. Then we have added and subtracted the time to this given date and time. Then we have captured the current date. Then we have modified the current date and at last we have got the duration between the dates. So, in this way we have learned all the features of date and time formatter provided by Pabli Connect and you can use any of the feature as per your requirement and you can send the responses to any application you want. So, not just these software applications, you can integrate a ton of applications and automate your business using Pabli Connect. In case of any queries, you can visit our Pabli forum. To check the pricing details of Pabli Connect, you can visit this particular URL. Also, the link of Pabli Connect and this workflow is available in the description box. You can clone the same workflow into your account directly. 
If you really like this video, please comment, share and subscribe. Thank you everyone.